isolation of peritoneal cavity cells begins with the mounting of a euthanized mouse on its back. The outer skin of the peritoneum is cut and gently pulled back to expose the inner skin. PBS with 3% FBS is injected into the peritoneal cavity and the peritoneum is massaged gently. The fluid containing peritoneal cells is collected and placed in a 15 milliliter tube on ice. The cells are washed once and counted on a hemocytometer. Hi, I'm Obhijit Rai from Dr. Bonnie Dittles lab at the Blood Research Institute of Blood Center of Wisconsin. Today we will show you a procedure for isolating cells from the peritoneal cavity of a mouse. We use this procedure in our laboratory to obtain cells for various phenotypic, biochemical, and immunological assays. Primarily, we are interested in peritoneal B cell populations. So, let's get started. Before beginning to isolate immune cells from the peritoneal cavity, prepare all necessary materials. Start by gathering an ice bucket, a 5 milliliter syringe with a 27 gauge needle, a 5 milliliter syringe with a 25 gauge needle, styrofoam block and pins for mounting the mouse, a tray to hold the mounting block, scissors and forceps, and collection tubes. Prior to the dissection, pre-chill PBS containing 3% fetal calf serum. Keep these and the collection tubes on ice throughout the experiment. Following administration of anesthetic and appropriate euthanasia, spray the mouse with 70% ethanol and mount it on its back atop a styrofoam block or dissection pad. Using forceps and scissors, cut the outer skin of the peritoneum. Gently pull the skin back to expose the inner skin that lines the peritoneal cavity. Being careful not to puncture any organs, slowly push a 27 gauge needle into the peritoneum. Inject 5 milliliters of ice-cold PBS into the peritoneal cavity. Now, gently massage the peritoneum to encourage cells to detach from the peritoneal wall and fall into the PBS solution. Then, fit a 5 milliliter syringe with a 25 gauge needle bevel side up. At this point, insert the needle into the peritoneum. Collect as much fluid as possible to boost your cell yield. While you're doing this, gently move the tip to prevent fat tissue or other organs from clogging the needle. Remove the needle and empty the cell suspension into polypropylene collection tubes. Collect the remaining fluid from the cavity by making an incision in the inner skin of the peritoneum. Use forceps to hold the skin apart while you use a plastic Pasteur pipette to collect any remaining fluid. Finally, centrifuge the cell suspension for 8 minutes at 1500 RPM. Discard the supernatant and resuspend the cells in 5 milliliters of PBS. Counting of the cells on a hemocytometer using tripen blue exclusion will allow the determination of cell numbers. Typically, 5 to 10 million peritoneal cavity cells can be isolated from an unmanipulated mouse. 50 to 60 percent of the total cell population will be B cells, about 40 percent will be macrophages and granulocytes, and 5 to 10 percent will be T cells. We have just shown you how to isolate peritoneal cavity cells from a mouse. When using this procedure, it is important to limit the amount of blood in the peritoneal cavity cell population by euthanizing the mice carefully and not puncturing any organs in the peritoneal cavity. Be sure to discard any samples that become contaminated with blood. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.